Hello, students. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, last time we did uh, uh, O level paper one of November 2022, and today we will start with uh, our paper two. Uh, so, this is your paper. Okay. Today we are going to share only, uh, we are going to solve only uh, three questions from this paper and inshallah next video uh, might be tomorrow. Uh, I will solve the question number four and five from this paper and then we will switch to A-levels. Yes, uh, MCQ's paper, yes paper one for November 2022. So here is your paper. November 2022, paper two, or paper 22, uh, paper two for Pakistan, and uh, paper number is 22. Okay. Now, this is our first question. BC has sold trader prepared the following trial balance from his accounts on 31st of August 2022. This is a trial balance of a sold trader, which is given with seven adjustments. And what they've asked for, they have asked for an income statement. So, when we have to make income statement, what we have to do, we have to start with revenue. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> we have to start with revenue. Here it is. Okay. Uh -huh. so amount of revenue is given two, three, one, five hundred. Okay. So next step, less. Uh, Less sales returns, sales returns. Uh, that was three thousand six hundred. Uh oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, it was supposed to be reported over here. Uh, revenue two three one five hundred. Okay, less sales return, which is uh, three thousand. 600, uh -oh. 3,600, okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, okay. Net sales, <clears throat> on net revenue we have 227, 900. This is our net sales. On net revenue. <clears throat> okay, then we will start with cost of sales. Our heading cost of sales. Okay. <clears throat> cost of sales, it will start with the amount of inventory at the start of the year. That is uh, 1st September uh, 2021. Okay, so inventory in the 1st September is 11,100. 11,100. Okay. Then we'll take purchases. Purchases is how much? 120,000. <clears> then carriage inward. Carriage inward is how much? Uh, it's given in the last of the trial balance. So what are, what happens? We all make mistakes. <clears throat> Be careful that carriage inwards is given at, at the end. Here is carriage inward. So be careful uh, when you are analyzing the data. Okay. Uh, okay. Carriage inwards. Uh, Okay. Carries in words. Oh, why is that so? That is 400. Okay. Now we'll get cost of goods available for sale. C 
see cost of goods available for sale how much 11100 <coughs> okay this is how much uh, 11100 plus 120000 plus 400 131500 100 and cost of, of goods available for sale cost of goods available for sale one lakh thirty one thousand five hundred one lakh thirty one thousand five hundred here we have to deduct from cost of goods available for sale we have to deduct inventory closing uh closing inventory uh, 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 closing inventory is uh, on 31st August 2022 and this is how much <clears throat> closing inventory is 12,000 okay we have to deduct we'll keep it in my bracket 12,000 okay and we'll get here cost of goods uh cost of sales 131,500 uh, minus 12,000 that is 100 and uh, 19,500. Okay, or oh, oh, what I forgot to keep it in bracket because we have to deduct it from net sales. Okay, this is cost of sales. Cost of sales. Okay, now this is gross profit GP. Uh, now 227,900 net sales minus uh, cost of sales uh, 119,500 and we'll get gross profit 100. And uh, 108,400. Here we have to add something. Uh, number one is discount received. This, uh, 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 uh. Discount received uh, was uh, 1,400 given and commission receivable. For commission receivable, we have to be careful because it's not only the amount, but there is an adjustment also. Okay, so we are going back to the question because it's not a straight figure. Uh, we have to know. Now see, commission receivable is given here 2,200, okay? But they say commission received 800 was owing to 31st August 2022. This is accrued commission income of this year, which we have earned but not yet received. Okay, in American accounting, they call it unearned commission. <clears throat> in British, they call it commission received but owing. So, this is going to be added. 2,200 plus 800, that will make commission receivable 3,000. Okay? Be careful about that. So all together, our gross profit has increased due to these two items, uh, and the amount would be one hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred. Okay. Now heading expenses. E X P E N S E S expenses. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now see, there's a list of expenses. The first expense is discount allowed. It's very clearly given 600. So uh, there is no calculation in that. The second is insurance. Okay. Now for insurance, we have to look at the question again. Uh, insurance. Okay. See what is happening in insurance. Insurance is uh, here. 12,000. No, 9,600. Okay. Now uh six seven hundred insurance is for private private of the owner private insurance of the owner so that seven hundred is should not be included in insurance but in drawings <clears throat> because this is the personal insurance of the owner so what we have to do from nine thousand six hundred we have to deduct seven hundred and we'll get eight thousand nine hundred as insurance for this year how much eight thousand Nine hundred. Yeah. Eight thousand nine hundred. Getting my point here? Okay. 
Now, third item, we have repairs. Again, for repairs, we have to go forward. Now, here is the repairs. Here is the repairs. 12,400. But what is the adjustment? Repairs include 4,000 related to a new attachment for machinery. If we have bought a new attachment, it's not revenue expenditure. It is capital expenditure and not part of uh, repairs, but part of cost of asset. So uh, what we have to do, we have to deduct this. From 12,400 minus 4,000 means 8,400 should be the repairs expense for this year. Okay. 8,000. 400. Okay. Got it. 8,400. Okay. Now move to next expense. Next expense is salaries. Okay. Salaries. For salaries, again, we are going upward. What's happening in salaries? Uh, Okay, first we did it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Salaries is 53,900. Here it is. Yeah. Salaries 53,900. But uh, <clears throat> salaries are showing for only 11 months. The 12th month salary is due. Okay. You know, while making income statement and adjustment, we don't pay the salaries. We only add the expense and make it a liability. Okay, cash and bank is not allowed to enter into the adjustments. So what we have to do, we have to calculate monthly salary. 53,900 is 11 month salaries. Okay. 53,900 divided by 11. And we get 4,900 per month salary. So it means... Uh, the 12th month salary, the salary for August is 4,900 due. It's not included in the expense. It's not yet paid. We are not paying it. We are just adding it in the expense and we'll make it a liability in balance sheet. So 4,900 plus 53,900 will make you your expense 58,800 salaries. <clears throat> Getting my point clear? Okay. Now, Move to question salaries fifty eight thousand eight hundred. Fifty eight thousand eight hundred. Done. Then we have uh, another expense rates. Okay. I think there is an adjustment for rates as well. Uh, see what is the adjustment for rates? Okay. Uh huh. Rates. Here are rates. Six thousand. Okay. Rates are six thousand. And what's happening in adjustment? Rates uh, were prepaid by three hundred. So prepaid is going to deducted over here from six thousand. So it will make five thousand seven hundred rates for the month for the year. Five thousand seven hundred. 5,700. Then, okay. Last expense we have is depreciation. So, depreciation, depreciation. Okay. Now, depreciation we have to calculate on fixed assets. Okay. Move and see. Uh, okay. We have here two non current assets premises and machinery, okay? But <clears throat> uh, let's see what adjustment says. Adjustment says machinery is depreciated 20% per annum reducing balance method. A full year's depreciation charge regardless of the date of purchase. There were no disposals during the year. Premises are not depreciated. So what we have to do, we have to exclude premises from depreciation. Uh, sorry, we don't need to calculate that. Allah is. Okay, now machinery 52,000 bus 
but 4000 is the capital expenditure incurred on machine so that could make the cost of you remember we we deducted 4000 from repairs that was capital expenditure on machine 15000 plus 4000 56000 minus provision for depreciation is 28400 given 27600 book uh, book value multiplied by 20% 5520 okay so this is going to be recorded 5520 okay depreciation of machinery only Excuse me, wonderful cup of tea. Machinery. That is 5,520. 5,520. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six expenses. And we are done. We have to calculate total expenses over here. Okay. Total expenses will be reported here. And we will get the profit one here. So Total expenses would be 87,920. Okay. 87,920. Okay. So if we deduct from this 112,800, we'll get the profit. How much? Uh, 24,880. 24,880 is... Our profit for the year. Getting my point clear? Okay. This is done. And we have 12 marks, mashallah. Okay. So now move to the next part of the question. Okay, calculate the working capital. So what is the formula of working capital? Working capital. Uh -huh. is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Okay. See, what are the current assets available in this question? <clears throat> we have uh, current assets available. Again, move to the question. We have uh, current assets available. See, uh, closing inventory 12,000. Here it is. Uh, okay. Closing inventory 12,000. <clears> okay. Then uh, trade receivable 19,200. Okay. Okay. Uh, 19,200. Okay, 800 is commission receivable. Okay, and 300 is prepaid. Okay, so we have all together four current assets. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm doing directly uh, 12,000 is inventory plus uh, 800 is rent receivable plus 19,200 account receivable plus uh, 300 prepaid. Okay. Done. Minus then liabilities. Uh -oh. Liabilities we have. Uh, see, we have to move for the liability. Okay. Now, if you move for the liabilities, uh, we have uh, trade payable 7,300, okay. Bank 4,100, overdraft, okay. Then uh, okay. Uh, salary is payable. One month salary is payable. Okay. So we have all together three liabilities. Okay, so uh, uh, where we are, uh, okay. Uh, uh, 
Uh, first was uh, bank, 4,100. Plus trade payables, 7,300. Plus 4,900. The salaries, okay? So if we add total assets, it would be total assets. 32,300 and total liabilities if we add 16,300 so the answer must be 16,000 is your working capital available okay and we have earned three marks done okay let's move Achha. BC has been taking making future plans for the business and needs to purchase dollar 60,000 of machinery immediately there are two options to finance the purchase. On credit with the full amount, $6,000 payable in 60 days. Obtain a 6,000, 8% loan repayable in five years. I must tell you one thing, Whatever, whenever you have to answer between liabilities and uh, cash flow, you should remember liability, assuming liability means redemption is there. One day, one day you have to pay the liability. So keep in mind, if you are not uh, ready to uh, pay off within 60 days and you are obtaining loan, it means in the future you have to pay 6,000 along with 8% interest annually for five years, that is uh, $480. That interest expense would decrease your profit. <laughs> this is one time you have to pay 6,000. Even then when you have a bank over of 4,500, how could you obtain a loan of 6,000? I don't know, but it's up to you, you can answer. MC is a trader who maintains a full set of accounting records and prepares control accounts at the end of each month. Okay. Complete the table to name the book of primary which MC would use to obtain information when preparing control account. Discount received from credit suppliers. All discount received are reported in cash. Beyond shed of doubt. Purchase return means purchase return journal or purchase return day book, whatever you want to write. Okay, contra entries. Yes, definitely you will find in general, general. And interest charged by credit suppliers. That also you will find from general. general. Getting my point clear? Oh, okay. How contra entries are treated in ledger? It is debited in purchase ledger control account. It is credited in sale ledger control account. And it is going, to, it is recorded when we have same person, a customer and the same person is supplier. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, we have to make purchase, uh, purchase ledger control account. Okay. Now, we have two balances. One, 21,400, which we have to pay and one debit balance, 130 means what we have to receive 130 from a supplier might be because of some return or no no or some overbilling or discount or whatever so what we do uh, uh first july okay uh july first balance pd the receivable amount balance pd is how much? 130. Okay. Which we have to receive from our customer supplier, 130. And also, uh, July 1st, the real balance of uh, uh, due to suppliers is here, the big amount. 21,000. Okay, then uh, okay. Now purchases. So here we'll write thirty one. Now, okay. Now purchases. Purchases going to report here to like two hundred fifty nine thousand two five nine six hundred. Okay, again thirty one. We have uh, 
yeah uh, interest charge interest charged by the suppliers that is 150 and the closing balance of debit the closing balance uh, we have to report here the closing balance of one of the supplier from which we have to receive the money that would appear a uh, report here balance CD 180. Okay, this is the closing balance of what we have to receive from our uh, we have to receive from our supplier. Okay, here we are going to write on 31st August, uh, sorry, 31st July. Okay, uh, purchase returns. Uh, that is 9,800. 9,800. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, bank payment to suppliers, cash and bank. So bank is on the 228-200. Okay. 228-200. Okay. Then 31st July, uh, discount received. Discount received how much? That is twelve thousand nine hundred. Okay, thirty first. Uh, we have uh, contra two two six zero two two six zero. And yes, this balance CD is going to be calculated. The closing balance means the CD of what we have to pay to our supplier. Now we have to calculate. And how to calculate, I will tell you. Uh, 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 okay. 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 Uh, see. Add all the items in the credit column that would give you 281330. 281330. Okay, deduct all the items of debit and you will get CD over here. The balance, uh, which is 227,540. And here the account is closed for 281330. Now, come to August 1. August 1, balance BD of liabilities, 27,540. Balance BD, 27,540. Okay. And what we have to receive from our customer, the small balance BD is 180. Okay. This is how we have to complete this control account. Okay. Now move. Next question. Currently, MC purchases all goods from a local supplier. He has been offered a monthly price reduction of dollar two thousand if he changes to an annual contract purchasing all goods from a new overseas supplier. It is good when you uh, are getting your supplier supplies uh, at a lower rate from a foreign supplier. Uh, that would definitely you know, increase your gross margin, reduce your cost. Okay, that's okay. But the thing is, there are two governments involved in importing goods from other country. Your government and the uh, center's government. That your supplier's government. It means when governments are involved, there is always a chance of uncertainty. Might be some <clears throat> enmity or uh, some... Uh, grievances among countries started or dollar fluctuation, so many things are there. Okay, answer is yours. Okay, <clears throat> MG has been in business for a number of years as a furniture manufacturer. On 31st August 2022, the bank column of cash book showed the business at 25,600. The bank statement on this day showed a credit balance of 24,850. When you start this question, balance as per cash book, sorry, balance as per bank statement. This is your answer. Getting my point clear. This is your answer. 
Oh, oh, oh. This is your answer. Don't forget that. This is your answer. Okay. So what I love to do about a bank reconciliation statement is I know the answer. 24,815. Okay. Now, first we have to make a, an updated cash book. So uh, on uh, achha, all the transactions will be recorded on 31st August. It's a revised cash book only for bank columns. Okay. So we're going to write it over here. Uh, August 31st. Okay. All transactions on August 31st. Okay. Balance BD. Balance BD. How much? <coughs> See. Is. Uh, okay. Here is balance. 25,600. So we will report it here. 25,000. Uh, 25,600. 25,600. Okay. Okay. Now, the following terms are recorded in the cash book. Leave them. Okay. See, standing order for rates for 205 had been incorrectly and recorded cash book 255. It means <clears throat> we have to add back $50 in our bank account for standing order. So we'll write here 50 and standing order. Okay. Now, dishonor check from RJ. So what we have to do? August 31st. Okay, we write RJ check, uh, bounced or uh, dishonored RJ. How much? The amount is 420. So we'll report it over here, $420. Okay, then insurance paid by direct debits. So we'll write it over here, 31. Insurance. Okay, seventy-five dollars. Okay, then uh, insurance was seventy-five now. Mm -hmm. no, sorry, one hundred and ten. Uh, one hundred and ten. One hundred and ten. Uh, one one zero. Okay, and thirty-first, we have uh, bank charges seven. Bank charges seven. Okay. Now new balance. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now again, thirty first August. Thirty first. Uh, balance. Uh, CD. How much? Uh, balance CD, how much? 25.045. Okay. And that will be 25,650 both sides. Uh, 25,650 both sides. Done? Okay. Now for September. September 1st, balance BD, 25045, 25045, okay. Now, this is revised cash book, okay. Now, bank reconciliation. So, what we have to write here, balance as per revised cash book. Okay, how much? That is 25045. Dollar 25045. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to go for those items which are recorded in cash book but not recorded in bank book. 680, check paid to JW, that is outstanding check. Check received from TH. 910, that is uncredited checks. Okay. So add uh, outstanding checks. 
outstanding checks add outstanding checks how much the amount is 680 less less uncredited checks Oh, I will in checks. Check. That is 910. Nine hundred and ten. Okay. Now what we calculated here is balance as per bank statement. Balance as per bank statement. That is how much? 24815. 24815. If we go to the question again, 24815 was the balance. This is the answer. Yes. It means we have done it correctly. Must. I am very satisfied with this question. Always. Bank reconciliation because I know the answer. Okay. Why we prepare bank reconciliation statement? Yes. Most of the statements we prepare in accounting just to avoid errors. <clears throat> One reason just to avoid errors. Or there are certain items which are recorded by bank, but not recorded by us. And there are certain items which are recorded by us, but not recorded by bank. So we make a bank reconciliation. Okay. Possible reason for RJ to dishonor. Uh, one of my check was dishonored in 2012. Uh, and uh, when I found that check, uh, when the bank gave me, gave me back the check that was bounced, uh, that check contained 42 reasons of dishonor. Along with the check, there was a statement and that statement contained 42 reasons for uh, dishonor of check. And in that 42 reason, my reason of dishonor was uh, NSR, not sufficient fund in the account of uh, payer who's paying. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not sufficient fund, uh, incorrect date, incorrect amount, there are so many reasons for that. Okay. Explain the difference between a direct debit and a standing order. A standing order, we have given permission to the bank to pay us uh, an amount every month to a certain person, to a specified person. Direct debit means we have given permission to the bank to deduct any amount which bank thinks necessary to be deducted from our account. Bank charges or uh, any other thing. Okay, like that. Okay. A potential new customers ask MG for a 5% discount on any orders displays. Order space advise MG on whether to accept or decline these terms justify your answer. Now the thing is, uh, if a new potential customer asks uh, for a discount and you're giving them discount, it means yes, your sales has increased or you, and you have uh, uh, captured one of the uh, custom, but the thing is, the other customers would also ask for discount. Uh, your uh, total, uh, your uh, dealing with the old customers will be, you know, uh, uh, will be shaken. Or uh, uh, if you are start giving discount to all types of customers, new and old, your total gross, uh, your total sales will increase, but your Gross margin, your cost, uh, gross cost, uh, gross profit, gross margin will decrease. Okay, now the answer is up to you. Okay, uh, now question number four and five, inshallah, we'll do in our next video. That's all for today. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Uh, inshallah, we'll continue question number four and five of uh, this O level accounts, November 2022. Uh, November 2022, paper 22, uh, inshallah, in our next uh, video, question number four and five, and then we'll go for elements. Okay, students, so that's all for today. Take care. Allah bless.